Comrades and friends, welcome back to our Republic. Welcome back to Technovakia. We've got unfinished business in Stettin and I've been looking how to, or thinking rather, how to place our heating plant. And there's really no way that'll satisfy me that does not involve redoing the, uh, the tracks here. Lucky we're still rich, so that shouldn't be much of a problem. And also we have a a lot of wasted uh, tracks here so we'll just have to readjust those a little and then we'll be good um, and <clears throat> the reason is the plan is to place that heating plant right next to the oil refinery because everything else just looks a little ridiculous um, we could place it up here on the side but uh, that mountain here is in the way pretty much um, we could place it over here but then why is there so much distance why isn't that a little bit more efficient and uh, the thing I want like if we place it here uh, first of all we can connect to the bus station second of all we'll have a separate tank um, fuel tank or bitumen tank for the heating plant because I certainly don't want to connect it directly to the refinery and that'll then just line up with the existing ones a little bit nicer <clears throat> so all in all what we need to do is bring these tracks much closer to the refinery and uh, to be able to do that, we'll first have to do an uh, intersection right here. Doesn't need to be a big one, just like this. And we'll buy you out. And then we'll do the same signaling as we have over here, I'm thinking. Actually, we could probably just go with the mixed signals here. Yeah, probably we could just... That should be sufficient. Don't see why we actually would need these here. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And uh, then we pretty much replicate this without the uh, cross-section there. And maybe we'll even put a semaphore in it. And we'll have to stay pause though, because otherwise... Now let's actually have this uh, track builder run by. Or roll by drive by just pass by is I think the neutral version to say that and uh, here we go okay sorry for the Mario sound effects there <clears throat> so we can uh, pretty much replicate what we did here except I want tracks close to the refinery probably I'll line them up first a little angle like so because the refinery itself has a bit of an angle why oh, you're stuttering Really, is that too much to handle, drawing a track? I've recently upgraded my processor, so I don't want to hear any complaints from this. Okay, yeah, we need to just remove a bit of that wiring. Um, don't want to hear any complaints from the game. I mean, you guys can still complain. Of course, that's what the comments are for. But the game certainly can't, because it has enough memory to eat and enough processing power to waste so I hear none of these complaints okay so that ought to do it and then we'll just remove this and this and this and this and then we probably are able to connect this smoothly let's see if we are no of course we're not but that's okay, we can remedy this a little. We uh, give a bit more space for that turn and let's see how it looks now. Almost there. Um, we would need to go here. Hmm. The problem, I mean, I can reduce this a little more. Zip and zap and zip it up. Problem here is then. Yeah, it'll look a little weird. We can't make it around the building. And if we came up... No, it's it's too finicky. So really, um, this needs to be cancelled. One step, and really what I should have done is, from the get-go, come around the building first. Like so, I guess. Ooh, this is a little finicky. This is, in fact, very finicky. Hmm. How can we get this? What if we... Uh, 
doesn't work. What if we gave you a little bit of a head start, like so, and then came around? Then I think we're wasting a bit of space. So probably... What if we do it two steps, like so? And then come around, kind of mostly parallel, like so. I think that's alright. And you're still gonna... This is weird, it's attaching to something here. Can you see? My mouse moves and now... It that is very strange. Okay, but up to here works. And that's kind of good enough for me. I just need to be able to connect into here. You know what, we'll just remove that last little bit from here, that'll work. Now, the game really has a weird way about it sometimes. I really wonder why that... Okay, but now we should be able to, yeah, we are able to come up here. And then we'll just connect here and... Let's remove snapping, maybe that's the problem. No, snapping is not the problem. Come on now! Don't do this to me! Okay, fine. You know what we need to remove? Bit this here. So, we remove this here as well. And then they should go nice and smooth. Okay, so now we connect you. A little bit of a curve, and you, and then we can go in here, look at this, and in here. Now, well, just gotta talk to people, you know, and then things get done nice and easy. Alright, um, that's 80,000. Not the cheapest, but uh, it's very affordable. And actually, we can redo the signals here. Well, first let's uh, remove the tracks a little, and then we can do the signals a bit more generously. I don't need to do any more. Okay, you know what, we can here just demolish everything. There we go. <coughs> signals now. Um, we can remove you. Put the chain signal just a little closer. Semaphore as well. Um, do we want to... I guess we have to put a chain here. And this semaphore here I guess is alright. Um, we'll remove this one though. No? This here is just for fire access, so, I mean, it would be nice if we can keep it block-free, but... And then we can actually place a regular semaphore here, and here. And trains can then wait here and there. I think that is great. Put the chain here. Come on, going in. And the semaphore out. Because I think it's going to be a minute before we have um, fuel trains that are this long. No, this here looks a little... Oh no, it does look connected, alright. Good, so that should work. For some reason this here doesn't... Okay, so now it's green, okay. Right. Um, yeah, that is long enough, okay. So, and now we got some space. Um, actually, we also don't have power. Ooh, I really need to... go. Now we have power again. And uh, now we can place that beautiful bitumen heating plant right around here. Mm, we do need a road crossing. 
That's okay, we can uh, angle this slightly. That would actually fit with the theme. So we'll angle you a little. Um, actually pause it again, remove the power connection again. There was a reason I left it. Uh, there we go. And then let's see. Most likely this won't work. Yeah. Let's see if it's because of the power connection, hopefully. Most likely it's because we're too close, yeah. Yeah, too close. So we gotta remove more of the power connection. And let's see, we can go over... Close to road intersection, what? Okay, so this would work. It's a bit strange, though. How about we... We cross it with a... Yeah, we could come over there. And then do a crossing like this. For some reason this works, but this doesn't. That doesn't make any sense. Well, I guess... Yeah, kinda could... Understand this, but then maybe we can just do this. No, it has to be here, okay. So... This would work. No, it has to be at a weird angle, because... The game won't let me have nice things. Okay, fine, fine. You do you. Um, so here would work. I don't want it here, though. What I want is uh, prefab or concrete. Let's say concrete. We'll come up a bit. And then we could just come over. Well, that's a little that's a little extreme, no? Building a bridge there, yeah, that's a little extreme. I think the easier solution is to invest a couple of our hard-earned rubbles. Um, oh, of course, a couple of our hard-earned rubbles and make this a little more spacious here. Here and we just keep a little bit more of a distance from the tracks, and then come in here. <laughs> and remove you. I wasn't planning on spending the episode with those annoying road building problems, but apparently the episode was planning. Well, the game was planning to do that, rather. <clears throat> okay, so now we have that. A um, little kink in the road. But it'll actually look okay, I think, once we did this. Yeah, so we'll come up along a little here. And then we'll come in here, and that will make it look decent. Yeah, I think that is okay. Whoops. And then, of course, we need the power back. And let's see how you will connect. This side looks good. This side looks a little wonky. So we'll unwonk it, hopefully. Uh, maybe just here? No. Okay, we'll have you there. There, and then... Ah! Just can't fit it. Just can't fit it. No, we can't. Okay, we'll buy this out and then we'll take a quick inspection with the uh, building property tool. And everything is just green here, so that ought to work. Okay, so we placed the power plant, uh, this is step number one. Step number two, we need a separate fuel tank, but that's pretty easy to get. Um, just the exit needs to be so a little okay. Um, it would be like this, probably. Kind of sucks that you cannot change orientation on this, but it is what it is. Um, hmm. How are we gonna go about this? Is it worth it to install a road crossing here? Let's just take a quick look. 
if that uh, yeah, I don't know. okay so we could go this close we we'll place you here can we then come around oh yeah we can we can I mean that would look kind of cool uh, we could remove the road here and here because curve won't fit that would look kind of cool. How often did I rebuild this now? Three times, right? <laughs> so if we come around here, um, maybe come down a little further to here. Close this off. Connect this here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks good. Okay. And then we'll bring you up to here up over there. We even save a couple of masts for connection. And then we could actually have a nicely fitted fuel tank. Either way, um, but I think this way I like the most. Yeah, this way is the best. Mm, we'll go for the bit now we go for the straight connection here. Like so. Have you connect there and then have a pipeline connection. That still leaves us space to expand here if we need to, um, if we need more storage, which eventually we'll hopefully need. Uh, more storage for oil and bitumen here. So we can still go along here, like have this whole... Uh, where's my... Can I use a tool to show it? Yes. This whole area here is still available for additional tanks, which we'll need once we start shipping in uh, more crude oil and uh, bringing it from down here. And uh, the bitumen heating plant will have its own little tank. Right, so that is settled. And we hopefully can connect to the bus station, though I'm not quite sure if we shouldn't... Maybe we'll set it up... Um, with its own little bus route, like take these these mini buses and just bring them from here, just to be certain there's always somebody working. Because it's close to as important as a power plant. Not quite, but people die off fast or leave and get very, very unhappy fast, which is relatable. I wouldn't want to sit in my apartment by minus three degrees or something and be told that we have a, currently a little heating problem, but we're going to deal with it soon. Okay, so now we need a couple heat exchangers. Now, number one is gonna be for this district over here. Um, I want to hide it in here into a little... Where's the pipeline connection here? Maybe like so. Actually, we can connect from this side. Um, and then hide it into a little... What are you small clinic so the plan is here uh, we need to get this house there mm. no, we can't quite get it from here we could get it if we installed one over here well, that actually works too. Just need to find the proper road connection. I mean, like so, that actually works better. It's next to the switch. It's also a facility, a maintenance facility thing. Or supply facility thing. I just need to zoom in here so I can actually see what's going on. Oh man, I probably should... Is there some way, any of you know, uh, some way to turn up these lines? They really obstruct my vision. I'm not in a way can easily circumvent it. Okay, and then the next one is just going to be plain sitting here. For redundancy purposes. Um, maybe like so. And then one over here to supply all of the tourist area and the uh, you can actually have a connection here. I think that would get all of them, right? Yep, that gets it all. 
Oh, so the uh, the restaurants aren't even heated. Interesting. I guess they have the heat from the kitchen, huh? Okay, we can supply a pipe pretty easily, I'm hoping. Okay, um, road connection is being done here, is being done here. There we have to build it ourselves, though we could. And we'll just join in here. Mm, I don't want to redo this, not necessary. Okay, so they all can be reached, and now the big thing is we need the heating pipes. Mm, we're gonna have a heat exchanger too. Oopsie daisy. Um, not a heat exchanger, um, heat pumping station, there we go. So one right in the middle here I think is great. Here, and then we can connect this one, um, the big heating pipe, just a couple steps. We will then take the underground from here to here, connect it in. And connect these two and that can get constructed. Okay, and uh, then we need a connection here. Let's first see. Yes, nice. We can comfortably come around. Um, we'll get the underground, not the regular underground. Come in here. Oh, hang on. We'll come in here here roughly um, but I think we have one might have one problem that is getting past here how we're we gonna accomplish that we could go underground here and then come in there let's see if that's possible so we come we go underground throughout the city. Yes, that would be possible. Okay, we can come up here then. Yeah. I guess that is a more elegant solution. Then we'll have to cancel this one here. Cancel this and this. And we'll have the other one come in here. So could we... We could not. This here is a little frustrating with the uh, not being able to go underneath the tracks. But it does kind of work out. And then... Uh, okay, well do this, um, and I'll have to cancel this one here once more. But it's quicker to cancel this than the other one. Alright, and then we'll try again. <coughs> Go underground, let's see how far we can take it. Up to here we could take it. Even here. And the problem here is, yeah, that we do cross yeah we could solve this with a bit of a complicated construction but I I'm okay with this I guess um, coming up and then we have to monitor how that works out but we need to get things done so this way it'll work um, we could solve this by doing overpasses, like we can have an overpass here and then an overpass back here. But it's a little complicated. Okay, now let's check. We have a heater here and here that cover this and this. They are connected by pipes here and this one here as well. So now we need a connection between the actual heating plant 
and the yeah and that'll just go easily like that I want to go maybe up here there and then make these connection here visible <clears throat> okay so that'll uh, keep Stettin busy a while and that is our most crucial infrastructure being connected to heating plants um, in a semi-organized um, decent way I would say but uh, again I'm open to suggestions in the comments We'll now have to wait for this all to get constructed, which is going to be a minute and a half. But Stettin also has a lot of capabilities. I mean, we have two large, uh, or rather huge, construction offices, and we have a good stockpile of resources. So we should be okay for this. Um, we're close to the metal factory right away, so that should work out nicely. Okay, over here we've dealt with every thing here as well. Did we connect you to the... Yes, we did, okay. And in Berlin, as far as I remember, we're also good. And the only problem we're having is that we have so many construction sites um, also up on the hill now. So I might... I might suspend these for now. Actually. The road construction can go on, those are different tools. But these here, I'll rather suspend them. Um, and have it stop here. Until we've built our heat distribution here. Uh, we also need road maintenance and all that, but that can come next. Alright. Now, let's speed through the night a little. And uh, let's talk about our new village here, because they also need heat. Uh, citizens' happiness is too low. Which citizen? Mm -hmm. So you're not happy. You're ill. And you're not able to get food? Why are you not able to get food? You should be able. A shop over here. How's that working out, by the way? We have a shop here. <coughs> We have a shop here, and you can't reach that shop, really. It's impossible to reach that shop, all right. So because we don't have footpath connections, maybe. I was, the words got stuck in my throat. I was about to say, well, that's an easy fix. No, it's not. No, it's not. What does this button do? Oh! Demolishes things. Oh, really? I wasn't, uh, wasn't aware. Well, that's too bad for these people who lived here. It's good for all the others, though, because now we have a connection to the shop. So let's see now. Can you get food now? Oh! That works in mysterious ways, doesn't it? Absolutely ridiculous that they cannot go over here. Well, actually, this here might work. Just go here, and then we need one more coming out here. Now, oh, come on. You had me there. Ah, there we go. Okay. Right, so now all these people should be able to reach and buy themselves some food. And we'll have to do something similar here. Just not as drastic. Ah, oh, come on, you gimmicky, buggy, freaking footpath. Fine, um, we'll get... <laughs> Uh, it's a little frustrating at times, but we'll, we'll get it done, don't you worry. Okay, I'll come over here maybe. Have a nice footpath along here, connect this and this into it. 
And then let's see if we cannot find our way between these houses into this freaking... Come on. It was here. No! I left. Let, I let go of the... There we go. Whew. It's like one pixel that enables me to go there. Okay, so now all, everybody from here is also able to buy food. Albeit in pretty weird ways, but... Hey. Right, so we have the food situation dealt with. Sort of. Um, we have the kindergarten and school situation dealt with. Sort of. And sports we do have as well. Okay, so now we need a uh, clinic of sorts and we also need heat. And uh, this being late in March already, let's let's start out with heat. Now, I had two ways to go here as uh, usual, or maybe more than two. Um, but two that I saw as uh, valid. Number one was we'll uh, rush plan the first part of our new city here and then plan where the heating plant would go there and well build it first before we build the city and then that way we'll have heat and we'll just connect this little town there the other one which i prefer is building an interim solution and just having a small heating plant that's going to be supplying the village it might be installed permanently as a backup and uh, that's just going to be somewhere here or here because there's a cute small um, even official heating plant we don't need a mod for this and there's a small heating plant it's not too great um, it has like how many four connectors which is plenty uh, just needs a little bit of coal which we can just ship there via trucks just set up its own truck distribution uh, we'll have plenty of time to fill a uh, small storage doing uh, autumn and yeah and even during summer maybe because we're still in march so by summer we'll probably have a small storage there we can fill it and then this can work autonomously over here uh, maybe here is better because we need workers as well so somewhere in this range and then we'll have a a road crossing and have a maybe here Somewhere in that area. That that was my plan. So this town will have heat. We won't lose all the citizens, um, even though they're not too happy. But they're also not too unhappy. I mean, as soon as they have the basics, they're okay. Not able to enjoy culture, but I mean, whatever. Really, you cannot go there because why? This is this is the most expensive luxury we have so far because I'm gonna have to build like three cinemas and shops and all that just to keep the village happy. Oh well, must be good to live in Itza Itzayurin. Must be great. Mm. I might actually might actually download the mod for these farmhouses and repaint parts of the village a little. To make it look more like a village we'll see okay so uh yeah well let's go ahead with the heating install as well here and we're just disgustingly rich even though i spend how much now on uh, roads and repainting tracks and all that so but i've been told we have opportunities to spend that in the late game Right, small heating plant. Um, it should be just right. I don't know how far actually we need to remove this for a pollution thing. Uh, let's actually see. There's no way to really measure distance. So up here would be 300 meters, which is not very far. It's not a big heating plant though. So maybe if we just stuck it like behind the mountain here on this side, it'll be cool here it's up on a little hill as well um, it'll shorten the distance for me to uh, actually deliver coal there 
Uh, we'll just have a small... Where is it? Oh, you know what? It's easier to find the storage. Um, small aggregate storage there. I'm going to build my small aggregate storage here. Oh, the pipe's going to go this way, huh? Well, that's annoying. I'm um, going to build it here. And then just connect with a couple of these modded <coughs> conveyor towers like these here. Just have one here. And here. Oops. And one here, roughly. Oh uh, yeah, that wasn't good. But lucky it's just planning, that's why we do this. So we need a little more distance. That's a lot of metal to waste on this, but it has to look somewhat right. And there we go. That should do it. And then we can just Fine, so you can be connected here. And these guys can hopefully be connected through here. We'll just have to redo the the power line as usual. They're always in the way, but they are vital, so not complain. Alright, so this is the straightest it'll go. You come in here, you come in here, all nice and neat. Whoops, sorry for the hearing loss, that was me bumping the microphone. Okay, so now we have power again, we have a storage, a heating plant, all the things, and our... Whoops, our helicopter office should pick that up. Let's actually see... Are we good here? Yes, we have asphalt and we have cement. And I did fix this last time, I just, just remember that we had a problem with cement, but yeah. We did fix this last time. Yeah, you're fetching, fetching it there, alright. So the helicopter office can now still supply, and uh, it shall. Let's add these... Oh no, that won't work like that. Um, I'm gonna have to make this a little bit of a priority, so we're gonna go with the construction assign. That's the team, that's this. Helicopter, yes. And we're gonna have to um, assign construction office mode. Yeah, no, that's the one we want. No? That's the one we want, okay. So you can go here, and we'll then connect you as well, and that can get regularly constructed. All right, and this one here is now probably a little overwhelmed. Mixer. Don't really need the mixers, though. What we really need is uh, open haul trucks, I guess. We have two, three open hull, uh, two covered hull, more open hulls here. Hmm. Don't have gravel. How are we going to go about that? How's our storage situation here anyway? It's pretty decent. Can't complain. Here it's not so great. Um, we're actually gonna manually purchase a couple. Because I can't afford any delay. This is also already slow enough with that one construction office here. So I don't want any more delay than is necessary. Alright, and now we just need to uh, place a nice central located, centrally located heat exchanger. And then we should be good here. 
uh, will actually need two. Isn't that ridiculous? Um, but we can use the small ones. Yeah, pretty sure. Um, we're gonna use the small ones, and they can be connected underground. So we just have one at this end of the village. That looks good. And one at the other end of the village. Small heat exchanger. I'm gonna check out the low happiness in a second. Just need to place that second heat exchanger. Um, where's good? Maybe. Um, where can we place you? Here would be okay. Whoops. Place you here. Um, we can connect you in there. Nice. Like so. Uh, this one here doesn't actually need to be a gravel road, just a regular old dirt road is enough. There's not a far, not a long distance to travel. Alright, so now we'll... Oh, unhappiness. Let's check that first. Can't work because of low education level. Okay. Hmm. So we need... But there's a school here. Just go to school. You can't reach it. Um, what can we do to make that... Nothing much, really. Could... Yeah, but that won't, that won't fix it. Let's see. So this, this, this is the distance. It is quite a distance, yeah. I gotta admit. So we have to... Hmm. Well, I'll just have a couple of uneducated workers for now. Not much I can do. Not much I can reasonably do, let's say, like that. And these villages are pretty darn hard to connect. Okay, and then we'll just have a small uh, heat pumping station, maybe here. Like so. These guys only have a small connector, right? Oh, yeah. So, if we directly go underground, that works. Okay, so we'll have a small heating pump connector, like here. Oh, we can go at an angle, why not? That should work. It does work, perfect. Okay, now we just uh, need to connect these two. Keep clicking the wrong tab there. That works. Um, that works. And that works. Good luck. Okay, we'll see how far we can get there, and uh, if worst comes to worst, we'll have to buy some out. to buy some of it out. But at least we have all the connections solved in theory now. <laughs> so, um, and most importantly, of course, is going to be Berlin and Stettin. And here we're making decent progress. Yeah, yeah, we're getting halfway through there. We're in April. All is good. Unable to visit a pub or tavern. How is that possible? There's a pub right here, no? Grocery store, small store. Wasn't there a pub? Did we remove that? Or did I forget to build it? I could swear there was a pub. There's one here. The other one in town here. I mean, sorry, here. Here. I could swear we had like a university campus pub. Huh. 
Maybe I removed that for school or something? Interesting. Hmm. Okay, so we should maybe build one. Ah, the first heat exchanger is already connected. That is very good. Uh, oh, a pub. A pub, a pub. Where can we place one? This all doesn't really fit very well, though. And we could have the university pub here. Like, just directly on campus. Then we won't have any citizens at work there. We could have the uh, electric power station pub, which <laughs> I don't know how, how nice that is. That would work from a gameplay perspective, but it's uh, absolutely ugly. We could have a pub here. That could be the campus pub. That actually works better. Yeah, I'll take that. I will take that. Um, you can then just have an illuminated road connection. And that can just be regularly built. This here as well. Because then you can go there from the stadium. And you can go there if you're thirsty on campus. Well, if we could fiddle the footpath through here. Like so, that'll work. And then we connect you up here. That'll work too. Okay. And then you'll have alcohol to solve your problems and they don't need to be sad anymore. Good. Okay. We have the heat exchangers are built already. We're just on the pipes. Potential capacity problem. Yes, potential. But we have this one here still. So we'll have two here, so it shouldn't be a problem. But again, we, we can build a third, no problem. Um, and this here is getting done as well. Cool. So that looks very good. Um, over here, we're also ready with the heating plant already. That's cool. Um, we got to set up logistics there. And we have the heat exchanger. All good, all done. Cool. So all we need is a little logistics here and that that isn't a problem um, and Stettin when we just started and we're almost done here as well so the only problem we have or we're gonna have is that small village now the next thing we need for uh, heat distribution and for not for heat distribution but for preparation in winter and that's probably gonna be somewhere in the road department here Bus platform, road vehicles depot, not really. Is it here heating related stuff? No. Construction related maybe. No. Hmm. Equipment for citizens maybe. Nope. Car dealer. What I'm searching for is the uh, the road maintenance. Where could that be? It's not education. Car dealer, no. Engineering, certainly not. Various industries, certainly not. Petroleum fuel, energy related. No, it has to be somewhere in here. Bus. Road cargo, trolley bus, gas. Technical services, that's the one. Technical services. Yes, and uh, we need to place a couple of those. Um, in Berlin, there's one really good spot. There was a really good spot. Darn it! That would have been major convenience. Doesn't fit there, though. Where can we put you? Technical services. Um, what technical services do is just maintain the roads. So one's gonna go somewhere here, and we actually forgot to... Well, I forgot to rebuild this. Mm, I want a little 
bit of a curve, so it doesn't look too ugly. Like so, remove a bit of U, and then this should S-curve into there nice. That can get built. Uh, we'll probably place them here. They have their own little service access lane. So one's gonna go here, after we uh, remove that dirt road, or maybe we can remove that right here. Give it a bit of time. There we go. Boop. 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 Okay, <clears throat> that can go right here. But uh, for Berlin I want two. I didn't anticipate it being so large and I didn't anticipate uh, this redone conveyor connection. So the only way we can get there is by removing the large construction office. We do have two huge ones. So we're kind of good for construction offices, but um, I'm not sure. I gotta think about it, but we're not gonna do that now. Um, we're gonna place... certainly need one in... Mezina over here. And here it's easy, we'll just put that on the perimeter here. There, makes a lot of sense for me. We can build that. Um, we'll get maybe a second one to uh, clear out the, the uh, major connection roads here. Not sure yet. But they do need workers, don't they? Um, let's see. No, they don't. Okay, so we could actually could actually place them just anywhere. Right, so in Stettin, I think in here is good. There's a lot of maintenance stuff here already. There's uh, the distribution side. So in here is good. But in Stettin we're gonna need a couple. And I also want my fuel distribution here taken care of. So maybe here we'll place one. But we'll find the second one. Uh, we'll first check out the the coverage, and so we have one in all the major all the major cities. I'm actually I'm gonna place one here because we also have a lot of road usage here. Nope, just over here. Oh, that was there we go. Get one here, and then up here for the farmers as well. I'm gonna want one. And that goes conveniently in here. Alright. Good. I am thinking we are pretty much done with winter preparation. Don't see anything else that we desperately need. Uh, this here is coming along even faster than I thought, which is great. So we're gonna be good to go for winter. We're in April now and we're almost ready, so my panic was for nothing. And I'm really anticipating this next season, friends. We're gonna see uh, the winter look and it is absolutely gorgeous. It is very annoying because you've got to do all these preparations. Um, you've got to provide heat and you've got to clear the roads, otherwise traffic's going to be much slower and things will potentially collapse. But it is absolutely gorgeous to look at, so it's really worth it. And I think we have time to prepare just a little more and we have money to fix leaks if anything is not working as expected. So we should be good, should be set up. And uh, with that, I think I can leave this series alone for a week and we'll go back to Old World to... not tomorrow, two days, I think. Or is it tomorrow? Oh yeah, Alzheimer's is a serious disease, guys. Um, anyway, we'll go to Old World soon. Um, I'll also continue Humankind. Um, as long as I have a holiday, we'll have these two videos a day because it's just a great game and I want to have it on the channel and I can't stop playing it anyway, so there we are. And for all of you who watched this far, thank you so much for your support and for all the likes and the uh, the good quality views in this series and the comments. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys are having fun with it as much as I have playing. Until next time, you have a wonderful day and I will see each other around.